Hiya, welcome to Welsh Chili. In this episode, we're going to take a look at calcium deficiency, one of the major causes of blossom end rot on peppers. First, let's have a look how we can identify calcium deficiency in pepper plants. You can identify most pepper plants problems by looking at the leaves. And for a calcium deficiency, you want to look out for, first of all, necrosis which is yellowing and wilting of young leaves, which then turn black and brown around the edges and in between the veins. Secondly, we want to look out for curling leaves. They could be curling normally like this or abnormally, or they could even be like a bubbling effect on the leaves. Another symptom you want to look out for is tip burn, where the edge of the leaf starts turning brown and drying out. And finally, you also want to look out for stunted growth which is when the leaves don't grow as big or the fruits are still small. Now let's talk about fixing calcium deficiencies and combating blossom end rot. 90% of the time it is not to do with the amount of calcium available to the plant. It's about other factors hindering the uptake of calcium by the plant. But first things first, we'll take a look at the soil. So when you look at the soil, you want to make sure the pH is between 6 and 7.5. If the pH of your soil is under 6, then it's a little bit too acidic and you need to add some lime to your soil. Now this will bring the pH back up to uh, between 6 and 7.5. So a good source of calcium to add to your plants is bone meal. Now uh, this is pretty good, you can just add this to your soil and it will give your plants plenty of calcium. Now, if you want a quick homemade natural fix, then what you can do is boil some eggs in a pan, then drain off the water and use your water to feed the plants or pop it into a spray bottle and use it as a foliage spray. Now, proper watering is the most important thing when it comes to a calcium deficiency and blossom end rot. You want to make sure that your watering schedule is constant and not erratic and you want to make sure there's enough moisture in your soil at all times. You could make this easier by adding vermiculite to your soil. Uh, this retains water, it retains up to five times the amount of water to size. Or you could use mulch, which is uh, mulched up paper. Uh, this does the same job, but doesn't hold as much as vermiculite. So by adding vermiculite or mulch, you are helping retain water in the soil and uh, helping it release the water slowly back into the plant roots. So there we go. Even though we can't save a pepper with blossom end rot, because uh, once it's started, it won't stop, um, we can use the techniques in this video to try and prevent it. If you've got any other pepper plants problems then check out this playlist or you could go and buy our little book on welshchili.com forward slash collections forward slash books. It tells you about most of the common problems and how to solve them or just uh, drop me a comment below and I'll have a look at it and see if I can answer it. We'll see you on the next one.